hi guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to learn how to use onion spill for hair growth we are going to see how we can use it to reduce hair fall to add shine to our hair to promote a healthy scalp and to help you to grow your hair so onion spill is good for the hair because it contains some antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties which helps to tackle problems such as dandruff or scalp infections it also strengthens the hair roots which helps reduce hair fall and breakage onion extract is rich in sulfur which is essential for the production of collagen a protein which is required to stimulate hair growth it also helps nourish the hair follicles and also improve blood circulation to the scalp and stimulate hair roots all of which help ultimately in hair growth so all you need to do is to get a bulb or two bulbs of onion peel the back the, i mean the dry back the dry um, peels of the onion gather them together and put them in a bowl this onion peels you can see contains properties that help improve the health of your hair shaft making it look smoother and more lustrous it also helps to tackle the problem of hair fall so if you're experiencing hair loss don't worry this is going to help you to deal with that permanently the second ingredient you want to add to this regimen is cloves cloves is very important for this regimen because it contains high levels of antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair. They can also help to protect the scalp from dandruff, which is an actual or a major cause of weak and thin hair. Cloves also contain anti-inflammatory agents which further help in hair thickening. So you just want to pick some 10 pieces of you and add to our onions peel. At this point, you should get a clean container, then add the onion spill into the container together with the cloves. And please make sure the container is clean, then add some water to at least a good quantity that will, that will allow the nutrients to infuse together into the water. So then you may want to close the lid of the container and wait for at least 48 hours, that is two days, so that all the nutrients will be released into the water properly so cover it and close it for 24 48 hours please 